Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, as you can see that this Pac-Man is trying to gobble up this red dot and moreover the jaw of this Pac-Man is opened at 60 degrees and the radius of this red dot is 1 and now we are going to calculate the area of this yellow Pac-Man. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label the points. I'm gonna call this center of this uh, Pac-Man, I'm gonna call O, and the center of this red circle, I'm gonna call P, and this points of tangency, this one I'm gonna call A, this point of tangency I'm gonna call point B, and this point I am going to call C, and now let's go ahead and draw the line OC that passes through this center P. Let's go ahead and draw that one real, really carefully over here. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And here's the strategy. We know that the radius of this big circle, the Pac-Man, is this one OC as you can see if we can somehow find the value of this radius we can easily find the area of this Pac-Man and in this next step we are going to connect points P and A as you can see in this figure and likewise the points P and B and we can also observe that the radius of this red circle is this one AP is 1 that is given to us as you can see over here this BP is 1 as well and then this PC is 1 and now let's look at this radius AP that is perpendicular to this tangent line OA according to tangent to a circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between a tangent line and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So therefore, this angle is going to be 90 degree. And likewise, this another radius BP is perpendicular to this another tangent line OB. And according to this tangent to a circle theorem, once again, this angle is right angle and now in this next step let's look at these tangent lines OA and OB they are equal according to the two tangent theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to a circle from the same external point then the segments are equal as you can see over here if we apply the same theorem over here so that means this line segment OA is going to be equal to OB because they are tangents and moreover these two triangles PAO and PBO are congruent triangles according to side 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 theorem According to this theorem, two triangles are congruent if the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of the other triangle. And as you can see in our case, this side is congruent to this other side and this uh, radius is same as this radius 1 and this is their common side so therefore these two triangles are indeed congruent and now let's focus on this line op this is an angle bisector of this angle o according to this fact over here as you can see a straight line that divides an angle into two equal parts is called the angle bisector all points on the angle bisector are equidistant that means have the same distance from the arms of the angle which is being bisected as you can see in this figure and over here as well. 
So therefore this angle 60 degree is being divided into two equal parts. So this angle is going to be 30 degrees and this other half of the angle is going to be 30 degrees as well. Now let's focus on this triangle PAO and the angles a is 90 degree, the angle O, this one is 30 degrees, and we know that the sum of the angles of any triangle are 180 degrees, so that means this angle P is going to be 60 degrees, isn't it? Therefore, this triangle PAO is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And here's our 30, 60, 90 degree theorem. And here's a triangle. If this side PA is one unit, then this hypotenuse is going to be twice as much. In our case, as you can see that our AP is one, then this uh, OP is going to be twice as much. That means it's going to be two. So therefore our OP length turns out to be two units and we know that this OC length equal to OP plus PC so therefore OC turns out to be OP is two plus PC this is the radius of this red circle which is one so therefore OC turns out to be three units since this OC is the radius of this big circle so therefore we conclude the radius of this Pac-Man turns out to be 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and recall the formula area of a sector this yellow sector we are talking about this is the formula theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square in our case this angle this one is going to be our sector angle so we know the total angle is 360 degrees minus 60 is going to become 300 degrees this is going to be our theta so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area is going to be 300 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi and in our case r is 3 square let's simplify so 300 divided by 360 is going to give us 5 over 6 times 9 pi and if we reduce this part our area turns out to be 15 pi divided by 2 square units and we know the pi is approximately equal to 3.14 so therefore area will be approximately equal to 23.55 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye